talk to you about Xenophage and this build that I'm running to get the best out of Xenophage. No, I know when I mention Xenophage, people just instantly are like, oh, Xenophage has been nerfed, but this build, I promise you, does get the best out of it. What I'll do is I'm going to show you a few clips, what I'm talking about, how I can get the damage up. So the first sort of damage that I'm getting is a 39, we're just going to call that 39k, it goes to 47k just with a shot. And then by the end, it's going to go up quite dramatically. So it's going from 39k, so now the buff's easily achievable as well, to 67k. So it's, it's pretty strong, it's quite a lot of extra damage. And it's not a build again, I'm not going to show you a build that's one of these things where you can just do it once. This build will let you probably proc this like literally all the time as long as you've got the adds. So you're always going to get your maximum damage. Not only that, with the wells I'm creating as well, you're going to get extra grenade energy back. Uh, help your teammates out as well with the wells that you create. And again, excellent damage with the Xenophage. So I personally like Xenophage, I always have done despite the nerf. Uh, I did to it with a fire rate, how I always treat Xenophage, how I always treat it, is how I think it's meant to have been used in the first place, as like a cross between a really powerful sniper and a scout rifle. So like, killing things at a distance. So if you take away the DPS equation out of it, and don't actually use it for a lot of DPS, for ad clearance and stuff like that, for killing champs at a distance and clearing out mages, because one of them bullets kills like, one of the bullets from the Xenophage with explosives has the potential to kill like three or four enemies at one time. So the ammo economy for it and how you use the ammo, it isn't, it isn't too shabby at all. I mean, this is a 1350 lost sector here. I just want to sort of demonstrate that the build that I'm running and the damage you can get with it is pretty easily achievable as long as you're getting kills as well. So uh, I'm just clearing out the ads with the Xenophage at the moment, just purely for demonstration and showing you how quick they're dying, stuff like that, and how many wells I'm creating and the damage buffs I'm getting on the bottom left. Again, 1350 barrier champ, there's no solar burn on here or nothing like that going on. It's just pure damage from the build and Xenophage. So again, Firewalker buffs on the left. I'm going to do a switch to my Xenophage in a moment, once I've got a buff up, get the max damage out. So I've got my Firewalker going. Times 2, there you go, times 3. I'm going to pick up my Elemental well. I will explain the build after this clip as well. So, and then I'll leave a few more clips out once I've explained the build so you can see what I'm talking about properly. Barrier Knight. Easy days. Yep, so I'm going to leave this clip running out and get straight onto the build as soon as this is finished. Again, Xenophage is one of my favourite weapons. I absolutely love it and this build really complements it very well. And stay tuned. This is the build, this is the build, I hope you're ready for the build. Right, here we go. This is my Xeno or Xenophage build. It does work on other exotics as well. Uh, problem is with that, like I said, I just think Xenophage for the ammo economy that you can get with it and the potential. Again, I just want to clarify, it's not a DPS build. It's no way I'm saying it's as good as Galahorn for like boss DPS or anything like that. It's just purely a build on ways I like to use Xenophage and how to get the best out of it. So as I showed you in the clips and I mentioned in the clips just about the how like one bullet can kill like three or four enemies at a time and the stacking bonus damage to actually make the gun really 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 strong I mean it's already quite good but this build does get the best out of it uh, I'll start off with the Sunbreaker bottom tree I like to run this for the sunspots for my teammates uh, Sun Warrior so you create sunspots on your solar kills as well uh, all your teammates can pass through that get extra regen for their grenades Melee's class abilities, stuff like that. 
And it also gives them a little damage buff as well. I believe it's 10%. So they'll get an extra 10% damage to their weapons as well. Uh, with regards to the mods, I'll probably start off with showing you Elemental Ordinance. I know I've talked about this one a few times. Most of you will probably know what it is. But killing an enemy with one of your grenades is going to spawn an Elemental Well. In this case, it's a Solar Well. Uh, I also like to run this one. Now this one is really important for this build. Explosive Wellmaker. Rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well. So as you can imagine, Xenophage is a solar weapon that creates explosive damage. It doesn't have to be a solar weapon to proc uh, Explosive Wellmaker. But as you can imagine this build, and you've probably seen in the clips, you're going to see a lot of wells popping out of enemies from the explosion damage from xenophage so we've got ordinance and explosive well maker for the wells to create the wells and then what i also like to run to buff the wells out is bountiful wells so every time i create one well it's going to give me two so if i get a kill with my grenade instead of getting one well it's going to give me two and if i get one uh, proc one with my explosive well maker as well that pairs with that also, so I'm going to get two wells. Font of Might is what I do to take advantage of it, to get that extra 25% extra damage for 10 seconds. But I like to run this one, Elemental Time Dilation. It just extends the benefits for 3 seconds, so I'm going to get 13 seconds of extra damage. All them mods work absolutely perfectly with a Path of the Burning Steps, how these exotics work. Again, I'm sure most of you know, but I'll just go through it. So the final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage. You are harder to slow or freeze with stasis, which is like a nice little bonus because a lot of the enemies now do do stasis damage and slow you and stuff like that. So you're going to get that Firewalker buff straight away. And how it acts is it acts like a Rampage buff. So you get one kill or a couple of kills and you're going to get Firewalker and then Firewalker times two, etc. And it goes all the way up to... 35% extra damage, so you can get a maximum of 35% damage just off the path of the burning steps. But Font of Might does stack with that, which is 25%, so you're going to get quite a lot of extra damage as I've uh, demonstrated in the clips. But the secondary, I just, I'll probably do a, another video on this because it's sort of one of them weapons, what it's pretty good, and at the moment it's sort of looked down upon because of the the architect it is the uh, the archetype it is sorry 360 rounds per minute but with this roll and this build it's bloody fantastic i promise you frenzy which is i think a 30 percent damage buff correct me if i'm wrong but that also stacks with because it's so late that's also going to stack with my font of might as well plus obviously the path of the bed in steps so that is a a pretty solid auto rifle if you can get a roll or you might have something similar like with frenzy or something like one for all it all stacks together and then if i do actually want to do like dps to a boss you've got this as well succession with osmosis and osmosis as you can imagine that also works with everything i've stated so it is a pretty solid build all around but especially for xenophage i hope it's been good for you let me know any suggestions any comments any feedback take it easy i hope you enjoyed it So these last few clips of the video is just again me reiterating or going over how easy it is we can get the bus going. I know this is just a normal strike but again it's just examples of I've, I've demonstrated the GM uh, sorry the 1350 lost sectors etc. Uh, so this is how I sort of like to use it at a distance getting my stacks up killing multiple targets with one bullet does the same in uh, end game activities as well you can kill multiple groups of enemies with one of the explosive bullets the wells are popping up everywhere buffs are going up all the time with it I mean these little snipers here and the yellow bar quite easy easily done so yeah I, uh, I'll leave the last couple of clips to run out thanks for watching